Welcome back guys. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at a product for a bunch of different mini consoles, pretty much all of them. All of them that you could think of, right? I got this little uh, sheet here, the mini C64, mini NES, mini SNES, so on and so forth. All of them, damn it. It's an adapter. And I find this interesting, not because I've never seen an adapter that you can use Bluetooth controllers before, but this one's kind of cool. It could be used on the Nintendo stuff as well. So that, that's interesting. So this is from Intech Gaming. They uh, sent this to me for purpose, a review, and I'm just barely getting around to testing it. I've had this for a little while. Haven't seen any reviews out there. So we're gonna take a look today. So in the box, I mean, I don't know if this is how they ship them. They're on Amazon right now. I'll put a link in the description. They're under $30. This thing's got a lot of compatibility, interesting things going on. Neo Geo Mini, if you wanna use it that way. It's got a bunch of little, uh, Adapters. I'm assuming the uh, USB-C one is for the Neo Geo Mini, and you got this like extender thingy. So you get some uh, you get some cables with it, right? And then we do get a a manual that goes over everything. I wish these guys they come up with some generic names. The Mini Wireless Receiver. I mean, I wish they would come up with something a little more flashy, but that's okay. So this thing's pretty simple to use. Uh, you could pair PS5, PS4, Xbox One. Switch Pro Control, pretty much anything that has Bluetooth, you could sync it up to this adapter. Right now, I've got the PlayStation Classic booted up, and we got the DualShock 5 going. Um, this thing, it, it works fantastically well. I've been messing around with it, haven't had any issues playing any games, testing some stuff out, that kind of thing. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. I did want to like swap it around and try it on a few different consoles, but let me go ahead and get into a game real quick but okay in the manual it explains a few things like there's this select mode you have to flip these little switches like little dip switches per console i guess the default is pc which is nice i mean if you want to use this on a pc you have that as well but you have a one two and three switch and you have to you know swap them around depending on the system you are using so they do provide that information in there it wouldn't make sense not to and then the controller mapping is all listed there as well. For the most part, it makes sense. Uh, with the DualShock 5 controller, I believe, I believe it's a little, a little weird, but how else could they do it? I mean, there's other ways they could do it, but uh, it's gonna be the same for the PS4. Like the touchpad is select, uh, the PS button is start. I mean, I'm fine with that. You barely have to use those buttons anyway, but let's go ahead and, and see how this game runs. I mean, we, we know these games run decently well on this system, but how does it how does it perform with this? Okay, nobody cares. Let's just get into the game. So on this adapter, right, you have a sync button right there that you hold once you plug it in. The little, there's like a blue light. If you could see it, it'll start flashing to sync up your controller. Now, like a controller like this, you would hold the PS button and this button right here. Like, I think that's the share button. You would hold those down for a few seconds and the light back here will start flashing like crazy and it'll sync to that pretty quick. But you got that, you got the sync button, you got the switch button, and then uh, get that little dongle action cover removed, you know, keep it sanitary, plug that into a USB system. And then on this side, you had the, uh, you know, the Wii connection for stuff like the Super Nintendo Classic and the NES Classic. We'll test that out in a second. Let's continue this race. Oh yeah, square is uh, accelerate on this game. But there we go, we're using the uh, analog stick. Feels pretty responsive. No, no complaints. I mean, it's, it's feeling pretty good, but let's go ahead and um, swap this to the Super Nintendo classic and see how it works on that if we have to like really mess with anything how do we get out of here okay so we're gonna unplug i'm gonna sheath the dongle the donkey action unplug the wii side now i got to double check let's go ahead and unplug all this i got to double check what these settings need to be as far as those little switches go let's go ahead and do that 
it's been a while since I've used the Super Nintendo Classic. I think it's an awesome little device, but you know, okay. Let me see, what is, what is our combination? Uh, one and two is up and then three is down, okay. So these little like things, man, they're kind of hard to manipulate. I mean, it, it's, I mean, they're just, they're little, little switches. So, I mean, yeah, it, it is what it is. You know, we're going to nitpick on something. I guess we got to nitpick on that. So hopefully this uh, powers on. And hopefully just by turning this back on, I'm hoping we just turn this back on and it sinks back to the dongle. Oh, and it did. Sinky sink action once and it's it, like whatever. I thought maybe... If you switch the little switches for a different system, it would lose the connection. You'd have to redo it. But no. It just works. But there you go. It's synced up. It's working just fine on the Super Nintendo Classic. So that's a good thing. Responsive. Analog sticks working. D-pad. Forward. Back. Forward. Shoot. 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 It's like we're playing freaking Space Channel 5. Pretty cool, pretty cool. This does have dual boots, so I could swap to the NES Classic. I mean, it's gonna be the same if I use this on the NES Classic, so no biggie. Cool, there we go. Let's switch to the uh, PC Engine Mini. Oh. And you know what I did wrong? I didn't flip the switches on that thing. So it's synced, but it's not working. Let me double check what the switches were. Uh, Turbo Graphics Mini. I wonder if we could do it this way or if we're going to blow some shit up. Okay, there we go. I flipped the switches while it was plugged in and it, it didn't register. Unplugged it. Rehit them switches, and now it appears we are good. I feel like the but I think the buttons are backwards on this. Let me double check what the chart says for Turbo Graphics. They have it as the one button and then the two button, so. They done fucked up because that's not the way it's supposed to be. It should be two is first and then one. So it should be two and one. They have it as <laughs> one and two. So Turbo Graphics Mini, they done uh they done effed up. Maybe they could fix that in a uh, firmware update. Uh, Cause I'm I mean, I'm used to playing like games like this with the appropriate button configuration. Um, so for me, Turbo Graphics is a two button system. Uh, it's just like NES. If the buttons were reversed, I'm not going to be able to play it, bro. In tech gaming, I was going to give this a very, like, five thumbs up type of action. You just lost, like, two thumbs up for fucking up on that. You should have, you know, ay, 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 man. These, some of these companies, man, I, I feel like they just, they, they, they need to double check with people, man, before they launch these products. Maybe they could fix it. Firmware update. I don't know if this thing is firmware updatable or not, but you know what? It works, but it just it's I'm not happy with that. Let me double check the button layout. I think the button layout for everything else was fine. Yeah, everything else looks good from what I'm seeing, except for the turbo graphics. So they missed the mark on that one. But hey guys, if you are interested in this thing. Um, take a look. Link will be in the description. I think it's a neat device. It just, I'm not going to use it for this. The button's backwards, kind of redonks, but everything else, it works fine. The biggest thing to me is, is that it has that, that Wii adapter. So you could use it on multiple systems. Very neat little device. I dig the look of it. Uh, just hopefully they can rectify the uh, reversed buttons here, possibly. I mean, I don't think it had like alternate buttons on there mm, no well it looks like um 
Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. If you use a Switch Pro controller, it looks like the button layout is now the it's still backwards. They they done fucked up, man. Never mind. I was gonna say it looks good, but no, they 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 screwed it up. They screwed it up. Hey guys, really do appreciate you hanging out with me on this one. Peace out. Big ass thumb button your face. And boom. Bye.